for it to be given to me, but it turns out you have to actually put in a bit of effort to get some rewards from it. <coughs> so, university offers you a lot of facilities for learning and for getting jobs, you've just got to look for them. So, during my first year, to put it simple, I scraped by my first year at university. I don't suggest scraping by, I suggest going to your lectures and learning because I deeply regret not going to my lectures and learning about the resources that were available to me. Um, but yeah, first year, made a mistake. Some people do it, some people don't. My second year at university, I did a complete U-turn. I started to achieve better grades, and there is a correlation between turning up to your lectures and getting better grades. Um, Martin was also promoting some guest speakers at the university from the industry, and I decided to turn up to one and see what it's about. And I met my now boss, Dan Thomas, and he was doing a talk about web design. And I went up to him afterwards and asked him for some advice, what can a young aspiring web developer learn? And what should they be doing to get a job after they finish their course? And he gave me some pointers about it. I did a little blog, did a little tweet about it, got in touch with him, and formed a relationship and a connection with him, which later resulted in a job. So I've now got a YouTube channel, which he recommended I do. I uploaded my work to Behance, created a Facebook page and a website to showcase my work. So getting my first job, after I created my strong online presence, I then went on to find what opportunities were available to me. And a great place for this is the Solent Careers section on the portal. And they post um, jobs which are um, jobs which are very sort of bespoke to students. They're not for the advanced, they're not for people who have got years of experience, they're for people who are wanting to learn and who are very uh, <laughs> very um, passionate about their subjects. So if you do love what you do and you want to get a job in it, look on the portal because there are so many opportunities there for you. So after I got my first job at a small startup firm, I then got offered a job by Dan at Move2 and he was advertising a job for someone with experience, but because I formed a good relationship with him, he thought of me when he had a work placement to offer. So. I went and worked for him for a while and I've been working there since. So I succeeded, I got my job, and I've learned so much on the job that I haven't learned at uni. Uni teaches you a lot, but when you're actually in the industry, you learn a lot more and you get paid for it. So, I mean, it's, it's all right. So at Move2, we play video games at lunch. We've gone to Microsoft's offices in London. We've had video game nights and it's just, it's a fun environment. People think work's all serious and it's, people with documents and briefcases, but most places are pretty chill out now for having a bit of fun. And me and my boss have also set up an event, which is a meetup for creative individuals. So if any of you are interested in being encouraged to learn and create, then check out Shout Soapman after the talk. So now I'm gonna briefly talk about full benefits of working in the industry and how they can benefit you. <coughs> Number one, practical knowledge and understanding of your industry. It's all well and good learning by book, but when you actually go out into the industry and apply the knowledge that you've learned, you learn, I'd say I've learned as much as uni's told me in two years, in two weeks in the industry. So I definitely recommend getting a job either on the side of university or doing a year placement like myself. Number two, you will grow your professional network and form relationships with those in, in your industry. As I've shown, by me going to an event after university uh, later in the day and meeting Dan Thomas, I've now got a job and I'm now standing here with my dream job. Number three, you have an advantage over those who don't have experience. When you go for a job if after university, if you've got experience working in the industry, that gives you a massive upper hand against someone who doesn't have experience. It's all well and good having a degree, but if you have a degree and experience, you're more likely to get the job. Number four, statistically you are more likely to achieve better grades in your final year if you complete a work placement. It's been proven that if you go on a work placement, you will achieve better grades at the end of your, your university course. Uh, especially in the third year when it counts the most, if you have knowledge in the industry, you can apply it in your third year. And now I've got four tips to give to you on how to get a work placement or a job in the industry. Number one, fix up your CV. If you aren't updating your CV at least every three months, you're making a big mistake because 
I've seen so many people with terrible CVs applying for jobs and they wonder why they don't get jobs. That is your first impression you're giving to your potential employer. If you have a bad CV, you're giving a bad impression straight away. A good recommendation if you're not great at creating a good CV layout <laughs> is I would go online and you can find templates for CVs on Creative Markets which give you a really fancy layout and it's like £10 for a template and I've had compliments on my CV when giving it out. They haven't even looked at the content in the CV, they just look at it and go, wow, this is a really nice CV and I've had jobs offered, offered to me because of how good my CV looks. Number two, online presence. As I mentioned before, I've got a website and a YouTube channel, and having a strong online presence gives you another upper hand against com competition. If you have an online <coughs> presence, then after your interview, maybe it lasted half an hour, your potential employer can go onto your website and look at you and invest more time in you outside of the interview. So being able to have an online presence gives you stronger impressions. <coughs> Number three, networking. As I said, I went to an event after university had finished and spoke to Dan and because I formed a relationship with somebody in the industry, it's now got me a job. It's not always about what you know, sometimes it is about who you know and if I didn't make that relationship, I wouldn't have the job I've got now. And number four, apply. So you found jobs but you're too scared to apply for them because you think somebody with better experience will get it or it's just pointless because you're not going to get an interview you'll be surprised how many businesses are looking for fresh talent, and especially university students. So I would definitely recommend finding jobs that are applicable to you and applying to them straight away. And yeah, that's me. So thank you for listening. And yeah.